Hello! So today, I'm taking you guys fabric shopping with me, and that's literally the whole video. <laughs> um, and then I might talk about a few ideas with like what I'm going to do with each fabric. I know I will be hitting up Joanne, Salvation Army, to see if there's any like bed sheets or maybe dresses I can upcycle. Uh, same with Goodwill. Last time I was at Goodwill, I found dresses to up not dresses, I found fabric. It was perfect for a Gryffindor dress and I didn't buy it because I was trying to save up for a trip but I was so mad because I found like four panels like four full length curtains and it would have been like ugh, it would have been perfect so we're going to see what we find I have a couple ideas of what I want to sew next but I'm not like totally sold on any of them quite yet so the next project could be a total surprise or it could be an idea or a design I already have. I know my default is going to be Rapunzel and her dress um, if I don't find any fabrics that I'm like okay I could do this instead then I want to make Rapunzel's dress and I've been wanting to for a while. I already have this purple fabric I've had for a while and I had a have a good amount so I could use this for the bodice um, but her bodice is a little more pinky than this this is this looks dark purple in the camera it's actually like a lavender purple in real life um, but I'm gonna take you along I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna make some coffee and we will be on our way all right I'm ready. I'm wearing my banana top that I made. Um, I'm also wearing a skirt I made, so this whole outfit was made by me. I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> I have mini coffee. Um, I'm going for a little bit of a theme here, like a jungle theme. So, how very cute. Goodwill is open, so we're starting here. I'm gonna get run over, thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's let's see what we find. different fabrics at Goodwill for $27. What a steal. Okay, so I didn't find anything at Salvation Army, unfortunately. There was this one fabric I kind of liked, but I wasn't totally convinced about. So I just got the frame that I showed you guys and it's gonna go on my wall and I'll show you what my room looks like. Let's go get more fabric. Ooh. It's so pretty. I'm gonna start with ribbons um, for the Rapunzel dress because there are no carts and I decided to bring my coffee with me and that was a bad idea. So I'm gonna start with ribbon. I need white ribbon and potentially purple pinkish ribbon. I don't know yet, but let's see. There are no carts and I can't go all the Update, I got a cart. Um, and now I'm re-looking at all the fabrics because I can put things in the cart 
and not be worried about it. Um, so now I'm looking at everything and calculating things because there's so much fabric and I feel a little overwhelmed because there's Halloween fabric. It's probably my favorite fabric ever, favorite season, and then Christmas, but... Mm. everything that I got. And I'm gonna start with the Goodwill bag, which I approximately spent $28 on all of this. And I did get a good amount of stuff. So definitely worth going to Goodwill and looking through the curtains, bed sheets, even napkins. Yeah. So I first found this really pink, cute knitted fabric. And it's just like, it says Mark Fabric Incorporated on it. So somebody bought all this fabric and I guess they just never used it. Or Goodwill was given a bunch of fabric because there was just like rolls and rolls of fabric in there. Nah, I didn't love all of them. This was like the only stretchy knit fabric that I think I got. But it's so cute and I want to make a pajama set or something comfy because it's very soft and comfortable. Next, I found this like satin black bed sheet. And I think it would make for a very pretty evening gown, but I also want to make myself a pillowcase out of this because I've heard that like satin or silk, one of the two are better for your hair, like to sleep on. So I might take a chunk out of here and do that. I found this curtain, which I don't think there's a whole lot oh actually there might be more than i anticipated so i kind of want to make a like fancy-ish not ball gown but like evening dress with like little swoopy sleeves i found this really cute shirt Isn't it so cute? The sleeves are so adorable too. Oh, just kidding. I did get another knitted fabric. I got this cute flowery strawberry fabric. Um, it's not a lot, but enough that I could probably make something really cute out of it. Don't have any plans for this yet but I have it once I start to get the itch again. At Salvation Army, I did buy this very cute frame, this picture frame. Oh, you can see yourself. Hello. Um, I have frames on my wall and I think it would be perfect. I think I'm gonna do one of those, like the pictures, I don't remember what they're called, but they're like the side profile of somebody and it's a white background and the the figure is black, but I think I'm gonna do it for my cat. Or just print a picture of my cat, I'm not sure. I think it would be so cute and dramatic. Like, unnecessary, but needed. You know, that I wanted to make a Rapunzel dress and I found all the fabric. It's amazing. This fabric, there's not a whole bunch, but I don't really need that much either. It's just a simple pink fabric. It has a little bit of like, a, you see that pattern on it? But that's okay, it'll add a little flair to the sleeves. And it's just like a straight sleeve, so I don't need to worry about not having enough. Um, and then like the puffy part of the sleeve has little pink strips on it, so this will serve for that as well. I found this for the bodice. This is what the fabric I was talking about earlier looks like but um, I have a lot more here and it's softer, so I think I'm gonna use this instead. And I'll just keep the other fabric for maybe like lining or something. Um, but this is for the bodice. I think hers is a little more pink 
but I was working with what I found and I found a lot for cheap and honestly that's all that matters. And then lastly from Goodwill, this dark purple bed sheet. It has little stripes on it if you can see that. And this will be her skirt. I think it might be a little too dark but that's okay. And I forgot to buy paint now that I think of it. Oh, that's a problem for future me. Now moving on to Joanne's. Joanne, not Joanne's. Okay, I've always wanted to make a Voldemort inspired dress and I always thought, oh, snakeskin would be cool because he has Nagini, you know. Well, I found, this isn't quite snakeskin, like pattern, but I really, really like it. Look at that. Look how pretty this fabric is. And I think it's just like very dramatic, very Voldemort. Uh, and it, for some reason, has this weird like stitch. But the lady was nice enough to discount me like 75% off this fabric because of this weird stitch it has in the middle. But I can just like cut it out. It's not gonna be a big deal. There's like a ton of fabric on each side. So I don't think I'll be running out of fabric. I got like five yards, I think. And that will be quite enough. I think I wanna do a V neck shape. Also for Voldemort, you know? Anyway. I got this little bee fabric, it's so cute. I've been wanting to make a summer dress, so this is officially time. This is the fabric I'm going to be using, and it's just gonna be like the square top that you like tie up here with little poofy sleeves and then a bodice like this part. And a skirt, nothing too over complicated, I think. That's good. They were having Halloween fabrics on sale, so obviously I had to get this because it's kind of dark academia at the same time. And my mom said that it looks like Wednesday Addams thing, so I think I could do a Wednesday Addams inspired dress. I think it'd look really cute. I could do a lot with this fabric. This yellow fabric, it has like little X's on it. It was also in the autumn Halloween section and it looks so cute with my skirt. So I kind of want to do maybe a top like this, but then add like buttons and then a, uh, the dress could be a two piece like I made this. Um, not quite sure yet, but I have four yards of this as well. So I shouldn't be running out unless I just keep messing up. I made, I started making a dress from a pre-made skirt that I was given with this star fabric that I was also given. And I messed up the bodice. So I decided to try to fix it. I think this pink is the closest I'm gonna get from the options at the end. I'm going to redo it. Um, I'll probably recycle the fabric that I have right now and just like use it as the lining. <sighs> Then I got the same fabric as the pink one, except in blue, because I want to make another pretty dress. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I want to make another pretty dress. So I feel like this blue just goes really well with my skin tone. Got more filling for these Disney ears that I'm going to be selling in the future. A bunch of lace and ribbon for Rapunzel's dress because she has, oh my gosh, I got this like white pretty lace. Um, she has it up here and the front of her dress and then like the back. So, and I'm always using lace. Lace looks pretty with everything. So I decided to get some and it was only like $2.99. So yeah, not a bad deal. And then she has pink lace as well. I feel like it's a little too pink, but this was the least pink-ish they had. It probably will look really pretty with it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Then she has a little lace up in the front and she needed pink like ribbon, so I just got pink ribbon. Um, for the ears that I'm making, I wanted, or for a certain pair, I wanted to put these like 
ever since I saw them on the ears because I thought, oh, it's a pop of color, it looks super cute, and I just never did it, and I finally decided to do it because there's no time like the present. More elastic. And my favorite fabric that I got, look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, Olivia Rodrigo, Met Gala 2022. Not on theme, but, or maybe it is. Maybe you think it is, I don't know. But the dress she wore, this one, is so pretty. And I want to make it. So this was the closest I could get to like the purple fabric she has. This is more pink. Um, there was no purple shimmery fabric. It was just like blue, light blue, dark blue. So this is about as purple as I, it will be getting. But I really want to make the dress that she's wearing. And it shouldn't be too hard except for the back that has boning in it. But I'll we'll figure it out. It's not that hard to put bone on something. It's just sewing a channel and showing the floating. And that is it for what I got. It's been 15 minutes of me rambling on about fabric. Look how sparkly my skirt looks now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of me shopping for fabric. There's no rhyme or reason unless I have a design in mind, but I think half of the things I got are things I've designed in the past that I was like, oh, I'll do that someday. And then I was finally like, okay, we should do it now. So catch me making more videos and trying to be more consistent, like I've said five million times before. But yeah. I think maybe I'll start with this dress first because it's structure is the easiest to do, just the back. Um, but it should be great. Yes. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, put on the notification bell. I don't know. Thanks. Uh, I don't know. Jam on. Jam on. All right.